ball there at the pageant. An edible apple be there in the morning. Kawana pancake breakfast for you. Yes, you. The pigeon grounders pass by, so say hi. Then hurry downtown for your spot. At 11, the flow sand vans will go by, so wave high. It's not quite over, so don't forget to stop by the street fair. Cause Manson Talent has a lot of great things for you. Like Manson Idol and the quilt in our show too. Chicken noodle dinner, come fill your tummies with joy. Oh boy, we hope to see you all there. Apple Blossom begins the second weekend in May. Okay, we're talking with Mandy Neal, point of the 91st Manson Apple Blossom Festival. Congratulations, Mandy. Thank you. So it's been a whirlwind kind of a few days since uh, that Saturday evening. And tell us a little bit about, about what you felt as the as the announcement was made. Oh, this whole weekend and the whole selection process just seemed like it was just a big dream. All of us girls behind the curtains just kept thinking, like, it's finally our time. And we couldn't believe we're like, wow, we just did our speeches. And then when they announced it, it just felt like it was like a rehearsal and I'm like wow I actually made clean <laughs> and I was just still haven't been able to believe it Mindy your, your speech the first speech you gave at this shared the, the story of a young girl who was in awe of a, of a previous royalty and that was what 10 or 15 years ago it was 13 years ago you know that was a, that was the most genuine heartfelt uh, performance I've seen up there in a long time it, was, it touched me actually brought tears to my eyes I was I was so impressed by the genuine message that you shared. And I thought to myself as I heard you tell that story, it's not like you haven't had your heart in this for a long, long time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was, when I was trying to write my speech, that was the only thing that kept coming to my mind. And I was trying to give myself more options, but I just kept going back to it. And it was so important to me, I felt like I had to do it. One of the things that for people that are listening to this interview, but perhaps weren't able to attend the selection night, could you tell us the essence of what you shared with the audience, the story that you shared with us, uh, with the audience that night? I shared my experience on the little kid's royalty float when I was six years old. And I talked about my experience on the beautiful float that I thought I had just the most gorgeous dress on, and I was on the best float in the whole parade. But it was really just plastic chairs pulled behind the truck. And then I shared my experience that I got to walk down the aisle with the queen on pageant night and hold hands with her and she was just my role model and as much as I looked up to her she never once looked down on me so it has impacted the way I've felt about Manson over the years I remember that phrase in particular as you looked up to her she never looked down on you that was Mm -hmm. a very powerful message who was the queen? it was Monica McCabe Have you ever told her that story? I haven't. My mom told her that I was running, but I haven't been able to talk to her. Well, hopefully we'll reach out to her through this interview, and then that will direct her to go look at the complete uh, video of your speech, which we did highlight on Girl Lake Salam, and she can see you in in living color. Um, I'm very thankful that you guys were able to do that, because my nephew and my brother and my whole family that moved to Texas were able to watch the whole interview and the whole process of festival. It's a new day. It's a new era. And I thought it was really funny at the end. I think your mom and your dad and some other the chaperones, uh, escorts, and I guess it was the escorts, that all came down and said hi to friends and family around the world. And that was, yeah. a, that was a great, great moment. So, so the, the other girls... Um, you guys have uh, have met since, or have uh, has it been some quiet time for each of you, or what's happened? Um, I've been able to go out to coffee with a couple of the girls, and we talked about it, and we're just really excited for what's coming up. Well, this week or next week, we're going shopping to get our traveling outfit, and then on the 12th of February, we get to go watch Wenatchee's selection. Uh, so Wenatchee, you know, for the Washington State Apple Blossom the Festival Royalty Selection Night in Wenatchee will be your first formal appearance. And then you'll, then you'll begin the, uh, the litany of uh, business to service clubs and uh, other organizations. Schools, I assume you'll visit schools as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, and that will go on. And then, of course, Apple Blossom Festival Parade and all of those activities are actually not that far away, are they? No, they're not. <laughs> it's coming up really fast. The... Uh, 
the dance routine with Pat Moretta was another highlight of Saturday night evening, and you guys were all so good. Tell me a little bit about the background of that. But Pat always has come up with an excellent, uh, some excellent uh, performance. She outdid herself again this year. Was that hard for you guys to learn? Um, it was a little difficult for all of us to learn how to dance, first of all, because me and Haley had been a part of Pat's dance class since we were three, but we haven't had much in the last five, six years. But it was fun watching all the boys learn how to dance and even most of the girls. But it took a lot of practice. We practiced about twice a week for two months. Well, this election. Oh, yay. We hope to see you all there at the pageant. An edible apple be there in the morning. Kawana pancake breakfast for you. Yes, you. The Pidget Grounders pass by, so say hi. Then hurry downtown for your spot. At 11, the floats and bands will go by, so wave high. It's not quite over, so don't forget to stop by the street fair. Because Manson Talent has a lot of great things for you. Like Manson Idol and the quilt in our show, too. Chicken noodle dinner, come fill your tummies with joy. Oh boy, we hope to see you all there. Apple Blossom begins the second weekend in May.